Uh, let us uh, talk about your commentary video, the first question of the commentary video, okay? So, do you have any question, okay? Do you have any question uh, regarding your um, first commentary video? Okay, let me show you the question, okay? For those of you um, who were not here um, last Monday, Okay, so this is yeah. Okay, right. It's about COVID nineteen pandemic, and you are supposed to focus on social deviance. Okay, social deviance. Okay, it's working. All right, the pen is working. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, so um, you are supposed to choose three examples of social deviant behavior. Okay, three examples. Okay, three examples. I think I better um, put you on mute. Okay. All right, let me put you on mute for a while. Okay, all done. Okay, so if you have any question for me, uh, just uh, unmute yourself or you can just type your question uh, in chat. Okay, okay, back to the question. Okay, so you are supposed to choose three examples of um, social deviant behavior that is related to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. So I hope you have uh, started to think about the three examples, okay? Check the newspaper, uh, check the internet for some, um, for, for some um, specific example, okay? And what you need to do is to try to speculate why such deviant behavior occur or happens, okay? So during the social deviance uh, lecture, you have been introduced with uh, Freud's um, theory, his explanation why social deviant behavior, remember? He said ignorance, situational, conscience, okay? We also have um, Philip Zimbardo, who said that um, social deviant can be um, discussed in looking into three factors, okay? Um, so systemic is one of them, okay? Um, another one is um, internal, you know, psychological or emotional uh, problem um, or uh, situational. You also have learned about um, seven slippery slope of evil. Now, this seven slippery slope, um, they have been uh, influenced by two experiments, Milgram experiment and also um, the Stanford Prison experiment. And uh, you can also use um, Merton. So Merton have uh, contributed uh, two theories. So, Merton um, theory of enemy, okay, or Merton theory of social deviant. So, you can use um, any one of them. Remember Merton, where he said that the social deviant can be classified as destructive or constructive behavior. He also come up with another theory that classify social deviant behavior in uh, categories uh, such as um, uh, innovator, um, ritualist, retreatist, okay, and um, rebel, okay, All right. So you can use um, any of the theory to explain why these three uh, social deviant uh, behavior occur during the COVID nineteen pandemic lockdown. 
So that is your uh, first uh, commentary uh, video question. Okay. Do you have any question for me? All right. So let let me uh, check the chat. Okay. PM dah kabur. Okay. Thank you, Nazmi. Okay. Entahlah tunggu BPT marah lah kot. Yeah, that's right. I'm waiting for the same answer uh, from the BPT as well. Okay. So now let's focus on the um, on the commentary video. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. So any question regarding your first commentary video? Have you discovered the three uh, the three social deviant behavior? What are they? Okay, don't say it out loud. Okay, all right. So just browse the um, newspaper website and look for some examples. If you're still not sure, you can just um, text me. Okay, all right. Okay, so since uh, you don't have any question, no question, perhaps uh, later. Okay, so since you don't have any question, let's move on to social certification okay all right so before i talk to you about uh, social certification let me show you your next commentary video all right okay okay so can you see me okay can you see my screen okay? Okay. Right. So um, the next uh, commentary video question is a continuation of social deviance. Okay. So if you have watched um, Philip Zimbardo's uh, TED Talk lecture till the end, you will notice that um, he said, okay, that Heroism as the antidote of evil. Okay, so based on his suggestion, you need to choose two heroes who have made significant contribution to a particular field. Okay, so two heroes who have made significant contribution to a particular field. Okay, All right. so these two heroes it cannot be fiction, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. I know you want to um, talk about your uh, superheroes, okay? Um, but um, I want you to um, find me contemporary figures or historical uh, figures that you know. Okay? It can be uh, poly politicians, it can be um, an actors or an actresses, it can be a a singers, okay? So, but there must be um, um, someone, uh, it must be two heroes that are always being compared to. Okay? Right. So later, I'll show you some examples. Right? Okay, so discuss the similarities and or differences of their experience and background particularly the aspect of social certification in their community of origin. Okay, so let me uh, use the laser pointer. Okay, so you can either talk only about their similarities or only about their differences or you can talk about both. Okay, both. All right. So this is the question. But first you need to know what is social certification. Okay. Now social certification is basically uh, defined as um, a particular process that happened in society whereby we classify or categorize um, each uh, social group or each individual according to a particular uh, category 
or class. Okay? Right. For example, right? Um, we can classify people based on their uh, level of education, for example. Okay? Right. So we have uh, graduate, non-graduate, so that is an example of um, social certification. Or perhaps according to their age, okay? Uh, children, adolescent, okay? Um, senior citizens, right? So this is an example of a label that we use in social certification. So basically what social certification is all about is the process in society whereby we classify or categorize people according to its respective uh, category or class. Okay, so I hope um, you have your pen and pencil ready with you. Okay, because you're going to take some, um, some notes. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you an example. Okay. All right. I know, I know. Um, the movie, um, you know, it's not to your liking. Okay. Um, but if you have to choose, okay, do you, um, are you on uh, Team Batman or are you on Team Superman? Okay, this is just an example. This is just for the sake of discussion. Okay, yes, go ahead. T just tell me. Unmute yourself and just tell me. Batman, Batman, Superman, Batman, Batman, Batman. Superman. Okay. Superman. All right. There are some Batman. Superman Batman. fans. Okay. Batman. 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 All right. Batman. Okay. Batman. All right. Okay. So that's it. Batman. Ah, uh, he. Uh, somebody he said he do Batman. Batman. Huh? Hisham, Superman. Superman. Uh, okay. Um, All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm going to mute you. Right. Okay. Mute you again. Okay. Thank you. Some of you have done. Have uh, mute your mute yourself. Okay. So. To choose the best superhero, we need to look at their background where they come from okay so for your um for your uh, commentary video you don't look at their um, strengths or weaknesses we look at their background we look at their um, process of um, social certification okay all right, I'm going to ask you another question, okay? Now, do you know anything about Superman's origin? Okay. He came from... Alien. From alien. He right. is from another planet. Okay, he's from another planet, so he's not a human yeah. being, isn't it? He's, yeah. He, yes. he's, a, he's a Kryptonian, right? Krypto okay. Kryptonian. Yes, yes. So, so you classify him as an alien, right? Yeah. Okay, so. Non-human. Non-human, okay. Right, so by doing that, you are actually participating in the process of stratification. Okay, while Batman here, he's a human being. Okay, all right. So because of that, Superman has all his um, um, fantastic powers, okay? All right. Now, where did he land? Superman, where did he land? Where? Smallville. Smallville. Smallville, yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, who raised him? Mm. Martha. Okay. Oh. Martha, and then I forgot the name of the father. Anyone? Okay, so anyway. Right? The parents. So, he was raised by... By human. Okay, by human, right? But what do they do for a living? Uh, farmers. Farmers. Yeah, they're farmers, right? 
They are farmers. Yeah. Okay, right? So, that is another um, class or category of certification whereby, okay, Clark, Ken, as he was called, okay, came from um, a small town and um, he was raised by uh, farmers. Okay, right. So, in terms of um, uh, classification, okay, we categorize uh, Clark's uh, foster parents, okay, based on what they do for a living, their occupation. So, they are farmers. Did that particular background, being an adopted son of farmers, give Clark Ken any advantage? Uh, that is something that you have to um, ask yourself. Even though he has a lot of fantastic powers, superpower, he can fly, he has a, um, you know, super strength and etc. Okay. Did his humble background give him any advantage to be successful in his life? This is the focus of social certification. Okay. Now let's look at Batman. Okay. Batman is a human being, right? Okay. So, can you tell me who is his parents? Anyone? Wait. Yes, thank you. Yes, so, where did he come from? What kind of family? Gotham City. Yes, Gotham City. Yeah? Okay. Gotham City, that's right. Okay. But compared to Superman, um, Bruce Wayne, okay, aka Batman, he comes from a very well-to-do family, okay? I know, okay, the father and the mother were killed in an alley, I, okay? I've watched the movie as well, okay? Alright, but in terms of um, social certification, Batman's family, okay, is um, situated on a high level, on a higher level in the social hierarchy. Okay? Right. So, Batman compared to Superman has been given a lot of advantages in order to be successful in life. Okay? Right. So, this is what uh, the focus of social certification is all about. Okay? Right. Now, in terms of adver adversity, okay, Superman, okay, had, in some way, had more adversity in terms of, you know, trying to be successful um, in life. So, look at their occupation, for example. Okay? Superman um, is a reporter or journalist and uh, Batman is a millionaire. Okay? Alright. So, the point that I'm trying to make here is for your commentary videos, you have to look um, at that aspect. Okay? You have to look at your experience and your background. See whether the social certification process that they have experienced have influenced the success that they achieve in their life. Okay? All right. So, that is just a fantasy. Let's move on to something which is real. Okay? Okay, now, we are going to talk about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, okay, right? So, we always uh, compare uh, these two together, right? Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Both of them, they are considered to be um, 
giants in the field of uh, technology. Okay, all right. Now, next. Now, these two are statement. Okay, these two are statement. Okay, of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Let's take a look. A demand, uh, Steve Jobs, dem a demanding perfectionist who ran Apple like dictatorship, who cheated his friend Steve Wozniak out of thousands of dollars early in their friendship, who fathered an illegitimate daughter and refused to acknowledge her as, as his child until years after the fact. Okay, all right, so uh, read it on your own. So basically, Steve Jobs is considered to be role model. How about Bill Gates? One of the most richest yet humble man on the planet who never took for granted what, the, what he accomplished, who took responsibility when he came to family matters, who wrote code for years along with the employees, blah, 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 okay? And then he's labeled as aggressive businessman. Now, all the information that you can see here, okay, they are not something that you should focus on in your commentary video. No. Okay? I want you to find out about their experience and their background. I want you to focus on the social. So uh, uh, I want you to focus on the social certification process, which both of them have gone through. Okay, all right. So find out. Who is Steve Jobs? Who is Bill Gates? Okay. Which one has a better advantage in terms of social hierarchy? Okay. All right. So. Okay, guys. I want you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to go to uh, Google. And find for me um, a little bit information um, on the background of uh, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Okay, all right. Now, um, if your name starts from A to Okay, from A to okay A to S, okay, right from A to S. I want you to find me information about Bill Gates. Okay, right, A to S. Now the rest of you, find me information about Steve Jobs. Go ahead. Okay. You can go to Wikipedia or just Google um, the background of uh, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. Okay, so I want you to focus on the um, social certification. Okay, where they come from. For example, who is Steve Jobs' parents? Who is Bill Gates' parents? Okay, did the uh, background of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates have given either of them any advantage in life? Okay, right. Clear? All right, now please go and uh, find me the information. Um, I'll give you five minutes, okay, until 3.30, okay? So at 3.30, I, I hope you have some information that you can share with me about um, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. Go ahead. Okay, Kamarina, fine. Uh, you can uh, copy and paste, no problem at all. Yes, uh, Ishak Ilyas is saying, father of the most expensive phone brand in the world. Okay, all right. That is uh, your opinion, okay, okay. But we are focusing on um, his background certification process. All right. Nizam, fathers of Microsoft and Apple, okay. 
Hisham, Millennial, Playboy, Philanthropist, in that order. All right. Okay. Okay, Three, five minutes. Social, I think it's social stratification. Okay, stratification. All right. Okay, we'll focus to, uh, at the moment is Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. Do they have the same kind of advantage? Okay, so Daniel is sharing something interesting about Steve Jobs. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so Steve Jobs um, was adopted. And his father is Abdul Fattah John Jandali. Okay, all right, that's it. And his biological mother is an American, Joanne Shibo. Okay, okay, another uh, interesting facts about Steve Jobs by Alia Nadira. Uh, he dropped out, he didn't graduate. Okay. So that put him to a particular um, category, which is non-graduate. And here we have something about Bill Gates, okay, by Hazik. Okay. All right. Okay, so they have similarities. Um, Bill Gates did not uh, graduate as well, but he went to a better school, which is Harvard University. Right. And then he is now a philanthropist. Okay, Azmina has given us um, an interesting information. Um, Gates grew up in the upper middle class. Okay, so he comes from um, a distinguished family. If I'm not mistaken, the, his father um, is a lawyer. So very, very uh, famous lawyer in in Seattle. Okay. Two more minutes. Okay. So Maya um, found information regarding uh, Gates' mother, Bill Gates' mother, who was a famous businesswoman. Okay. All right. Okay. Siti Aisha, Bill Gates' parents didn't ignore the importance of community. Okay. Gates' parents were incredibly involved in philanthropy and community work. Okay. So during his career at Microsoft, according to Mujibuddin, 
Gates held the position of chairman, chief executive officer, president, and chief software architect. Okay. All right. Time is up. Okay. All right. So if you'd like to know more about the Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, please read the information that your friends have found. Um, and they have shared uh, the information in our group chat. Okay. Now, after you have done some uh, scheming about the life of Bill Gates and uh, uh, Steve Jobs, which of the two, okay, listen carefully to my question, which of the two has the least advantage in life? Okay, Bill Gates or, or Steve Jobs? Okay, right. how many of you think that it is um, Steve Jobs? Raise your hand. Steve Jobs, let's let's uh, have a vote. How many how many of you think that uh, it's Steve Jobs, sir? Uh. Yeah, Steve Jobs, right? Okay. Okay. If you think that Steve Jobs is the one that has the least advantage in life, raise your hand. Raise your hand now. Okay. Do you do you know the button? Okay. Just find the button. Okay, thank you. Hanani, thank you. Balkis, Ikwan, Mujibuddin, Hidayu. Okay, Umika Sarina. Thank you. Nashita. All right. So, majority of you think that uh, Bill Gates has the least advantage. Okay. What is your um, justification? Let's talk in terms of social certification. Okay, right. Perhaps uh, one of you would like to say something. Why do you think that um, Steve Jobs is the, uh, among the two, he is the least um, advantages? Anyone? Any particular reason? Anyone? Okay, let me check the chat. Okay, Ali Muzaffa, masa apa? Alright. Okay, right? Okay, so Sheikh Hazik Hilmi believe perhaps it's because of uh, Steve Jobs' parents' occupation. Okay, right? Any any other reason why uh, Steve Jobs is the least uh, advantage? Status. What kind of status, uh, Shazwan? Steve Jobs. What kind of status that, that he comes from? Environment. Okay. Need more. Need more um, elaboration, uh, Ami. Environment. His upbringing. Okay. But what aspect of the upbringing? Is it his education level? Uh, uh, education advantage? Okay. Um, I can't remember the name of the university that uh, Steve Jobs uh, went. I think it's, it's Stanford, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, Gates went to a better school, Harvard. Family background, okay, right? So upper middle class, right? His childhood, according to Izati, okay. But childhood, okay, uh, you need to uh, um, elaborate it a little bit. What aspect of his childhood that makes him having the least, less advantage? And as we say, sir, low battery, I need to go. Sorry, mm, okay. Okay, he had better exposure, more like a more elite environment. Yeah, that's right. So basically, Alia Najwa is um, talking about 
the social class that he comes from. Okay, the social class that he comes from. So I'm I'm sure Alian Najwa is uh, talking about Bill Gates here, more elite. Mm -hmm. Yes, Steve Jobs also an activist. Okay, all right. So um, Steve Jobs does not anticipate what he, what he is going to do with his life. But uh, Bill Gates have been uh, groomed by his parents that someday he will get into um, a business or get into a very um, higher paid jobs. Okay, my guy is saying Bill Gates' parents may be one of the influence of it going up to be a better person in terms of personality. Steve Jobs having to be put up for adoption may be a reason for him to have the personality since he may feel rebellious. Okay, a good idea, good, uh, good explanation. Okay, all right. Let's move on. Now, to give you a better understanding of um, stratification, okay, um, let us uh, watch um, this uh, video clip on uh, social stratification, okay? So I'm going to share with you the link um, on the chat and also on um, Slack, okay? All right. Okay, so the video is 10 minutes. So I'll see you um, in 10 minutes time. Okay, all right. So please take notes and uh, I hope you find uh, the video informative, okay? Okay, so here's the link and I'm going to share it in Slack as well. Hello, nak main juga. Oh. Nak main kamera juga. Okay, everybody. See you in 10 minutes. In the video, did you notice that uh, she has used several terms? Okay. So, one term that she like to use is... Um, social hierarchy, okay? Social hierarchy or social ladder, right? So that is um, one particular term <clears throat> that, that you need to know, okay? Social hierarchy or social ladder, okay? Social hierarchy, social ladder, ladder as in, you know, the stairs, okay? The one that, um, you know, that you climb, right? Okay, so... She also used the word, what, what are the words that she used? Social mobility. Social mobility is your ability to go up and down the social hierarchy and the social ladder. Okay? And she also used the word open system and closed system. Remember when she talked about uh, the caste system? The feudal system. Okay. So these are related to open system and caste system. Now, in order to make you... Um, okay, thank you, uh, Afnizam. Social mobility, yeah. Okay. Uh, caste is closed. Caste system is open. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, let's take a look at um, the uh, slides so you can have a better idea. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's begin. <clears throat> now, it is important for us to look into the system of certification. And the reason is um, the 
issue of inequality okay can be uh, seen in this particular uh, field of studies okay all right so people who suffers from inequality in the society okay basically um, not able to move in the social hierarchy so in other words they do not have social mobility okay all right now social inequality is an issue that focus on wealth prestige or power remember our uh, lecture on marxism okay conflict theory all right okay so g that um, um a marxist would like to um dwell into right okay so here is a what we call um, a more academic definition of certification so it's structure ranking uh, ranking is the uh, very important uh, word here ranking okay so who is on top who is at the bottom okay all right it also according to um, uh, marxist especially this is about the distribution of economic rewards and power in society Okay, all right. So it is related to income and related to wealth. Okay, all right. So here's um, two terms that I want you to understand. It's very, very important. A scrap status and a chief status. Okay, now a scrap status is the status uh, or it is a social position that is assigned to person by society without regard for the person's Unique status is the status that you are born into. That is a scrap status. Achieve status is a matter of meritocracy. M E R I T, you know how to spell the rest. Merit, meritocracy. It's about social position that person attains largely through his or her own efforts. Okay? Now think about Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Okay? So, when it comes to Bill Gates, right? So, do you think that his scrap status has influenced his success in life? Okay, okay. Perhaps most of you will say yes. How about Steve Jobs? Do you think that majority of his success is attributed to his achieved status? Okay. Perhaps uh, you should wonder about your own self. Okay, now so far in life, okay, which of these two um, concepts have brought you to this point in your life? Is it a scrap status? Is it a chief status? Or is it both? Okay, all right. So, very important that you understand this particular concept. Okay, all right. Any questions so far? If you have any questions, just um, unmute yourself and you can ask me. Anything? All right. So these are the two concepts, yeah? This is system of certification. Okay, next. Okay. Here is something sure. that, yes? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I know who is this, uh, please? Uh, this is uh, Jay. Jay. Uh, hello, Jay. Yes, Jay. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, I kind of uh, lost when you say, do you think he's contribute to success which one yeah, is that's right. okay so just success now yes yes so just now we talk about oh, steve, steve jobs and uh, bill gates right okay which yeah. of this uh, which of these two system of mm -hmm. certification that influence that they that uh, mostly influence he, yeah. their success so for example like um, bill gates okay so um, as what we have talked about uh, his background so he comes from an upper middle class family okay so we we can say that um, there is an element of a scrap status okay that influence his life okay right so do you think that his scrap status has influenced bill gates success in life okay because you know things like her mother was a successful businesswoman his father was a very uh, successful lawyer. Okay. 
So basically, that um, occupation have given the family, Bill Gates' family, and also Bill Gates himself, an aspect of a scarp status. So my question to you is, does his uh, scarp status influence his success in life? Okay. Now, how about Bill Gates? We know that Bill Gates, um, basically, we can consider him as self-made man. Okay? He was adopted, right? He dropped out from college. Right. So, do you think uh, Steve Jobs' uh, success has been influenced by the, the achieved status? Okay? All right. Thank you. So this is the scalp status and achieve status. System of uh, certification. Okay? Thank you. All right. Okay, welcome. Moving on. Okay, right. There are four forms of certification. Okay? Now, number one, is uh, slavery. So I think um, slavery, you know, okay. There's, okay, so um, there's also modern slavery, yeah? Okay, all right. So slavery is considered to be open system or a closed system. What do you think? Okay, it is a closed system, right? Now, what does closed system means? Closed system does not encourage social mobility. That means people cannot go up and down the ladder as they please. Okay? So slavery is a closed system. Second is the caste system. So as what we have learned in the video just now, caste system is considered to be another example of closed system. So the ranks have been fixed. Okay, the ranks have been fixed. So it is a closed system. Next, feudalism. Okay, feudalism. Feudalism is like um, in England, there is a lord of the manor. Okay, and then the lord own um, a large uh, estate. Okay, a large, uh, they have, um, you know, the Lord has a lot of lands and then he will hire some family to work on that particular land. Okay, so this is the concept called feudalism. How about in uh, Japan? They have something similar, right? Okay, so in England, they call um, this um, landowner as lord and ladies. How about in Japan? Okay, in Japan they call them shogun. Who is the samurai then? Samurai is the warrior that ensure that the peasant follow the instruction of the shogun. Alright? Okay. Okay, another, okay. So, and then uh, in the modern age, we have social classes, which we are going to talk about later. Okay, right, so this is the caste system, Brahmins, highest, okay, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, Sudras, okay, yeah. and Parya, or sometimes we use the word Dali, okay, Dali, okay, Dali. Uh, yeah, okay. Kaling is the word that we create uh, on our own. I mean, the Malaysian, especially the Malays. Okay, all right. So uh, I okay. So I I think I already explained to you about the origin of the word. Okay, all right. So uh, Pagya, Harijans, Dalit, they are all considered as outcasts, untouchables. Okay, but they have this particular moniker. Children of God. Okay? Alright. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, now let's talk about the modern age. Okay, class system. Now, class system is considered to be uh, an open system, but it depends. Some countries, even though they have class system, but they still try to control the mobility. Okay, now let's talk about class system. All right, so we have upper class, upper middle class, like Bill Gates just now. We have lower middle class, that will be uh, Steve Jobs. Okay, and then we have the working class. Upper class, upper middle class, lower middle class, and working class. Okay, now Karl Marx have his own um, terminology. We are going to talk about that later. Okay, yeah, working class and the lower class. Okay. All right, we're not going to talk about this. We're going to skip this. Okay. Right, now, here comes the fun part. Okay, we're going to talk about Karl Marx. So, since certification is about, um, um, about the issue of inequality, so basically this is at the center of Karl Marx's idea. Okay, all right. So, um, um, Karl Marx proposed communism, at, okay, not just Karl Marx, uh, he has his writing partner, uh, okay, uh, Engels, okay, Frederick Engels. So, they write uh, this particular book called Communist Manifesto, all right? Okay, so, um, he tried to um, solve the problem of inequality by introducing communism. Okay, so he said, in not, okay, according to them, Marx and Engels, in order to ensure there is equality, we should um, abolish, we should abolish uh, private ownership of property. So meaning that all um, land, all properties must only be owned by the government, not by the individual. So government will ensure that there is a equal, there is an equal distribution of resources, not the individual. Okay, so it works, at least on paper. Right? Okay. Okay, so, so Karl Marx's idea is different with capitalism. Capitalism is the opposite of uh, communism. Okay, so this is what I meant. In capitalism, means of production held largely in private, and the main uh, purpose is to make profit. Okay, all right. So, Karl Marx uh, made famous this particular term called bourgeoisie. Can you say it with me? Bourgeoisie. 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 Yeah, that's right. Bourgeoisie. 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 Okay. So bourgeoisie is the uh, people who owns the means of production, meaning that they are people who owns all the resources. So Karl Marx believed that we need to eliminate the bourgeoisie class. Okay? So they shouldn't own any means of production. It must be controlled and be owned by the government. Okay, now another term that uh, Karl Marx made famous in his works is the word proletariat or the working class. Bourgeoisie and the proletariat. Okay, right. so bourgeoisie and proletariat, they are always in conflict with one another. Okay, all right. Bourgeoisie and the proletariat. Okay, so. Now we have an issue of people um, trying to um, increase the price of uh, the mask, okay? Um, 
sanitizer, right? This has got to do with this particular issue of class differentiation. Okay, so we have a lot of capitalists who believes in um, maximizing their profit. And therefore, what they do, they um, increase the prices of these essential items. Okay, especially during this uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Okay, all right. Now, here's another two more concepts that you need to understand. Okay, I hope you are writing this down. Number one is called class consciousness. Number two is called false consciousness. Class consciousness, false consciousness. Okay, so here is the definition. So class consciousness, subjective awareness of common vestigial action to bring about change. Okay, so what does it mean? Right, so Karl Marx, um, in his work, he liked to encourage people to understand or to have class consciousness, whereby <coughs> people are aware of the relationship between the proletariat and bourgeoisie. Okay, so according to Karl Marx, if we know which category or which class that we come from, we will be able to make a better collective bargaining with the bourgeoisie. What is collective bargaining? Collective bargaining means, <coughs> excuse me, collective bargaining means negotiation between the working class and the owner of the means of production. So it's important that we have class consciousness, according to Karl Marx. What we shouldn't have, according to Karl Marx, is something called false consciousness. is the erroneous, erroneous mindset, okay? erroneous mindset about our own position. Okay, a good example is the samurai. Now, samurai has a false consciousness. <clears throat> now, they believe that they are on the high hierarchy. Okay? they are doing something which is noble. They believe that they are protector of the people. But in reality, samurai is actually protecting the interests of the shogun or the landowner. So that is what false consciousness is all about. Attitude held by members of class that does not accurately reflect their objective position, right? If you watch um, um, movies about samurai, samurai is depict, depicted as a class of people that protects the interests of the community, okay? For example, if you watch the movie Last Samurai starring um, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise. Right? Okay? Alright. But in reality, samurai actually did not really protect the interests of the people. But they protect the interests of their lord and master, the shoguns. Okay? Right. So, this is what we call fal false consciousness, guys. False consciousness. So, Mark said we should have class consciousness, an accurate uh, understanding or awareness of our position in the social hierarchy. Okay? Who are you? Are you a bourgeoisie or are you a proletariat? Okay? Alright. So, he said, if we are able 
to understand our um, class, we will be able to um, fight for equality from the uh, bourgeoisie. Okay? So what we shouldn't have is false consciousness. And a good example is the Shogun. Okay, everyone? All right. So, that is uh, my lecture about uh, social certification. Okay. There are more. So, I hope you will um, do your own reading about social mobility. Okay. Please do your own reading about social mobility. And uh, next week, I will try my best to explain uh, to you about social mobility. Okay? All right. Any question so far? Okay. Any question? All right, let's go back to the um, commentary video question. So, do you understand what you're supposed to do? <clears throat> uh, not so, sir. I still uh, need to, like, know how, uh, how do we need to find the subject. Okay, how to not find really. the subject? Well, it depends on um, your interests. Who are your heroes? Okay, what field that you really like? For example, like me, right? I like technology, so that's why in my lecture I use um, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Okay, so all you need to do is to do some background reading about these two subjects, these two heroes, of, these two heroes of yours. Okay, now I would like you to focus on their um, upbringing. I want you to focus on their background. Okay? Don't dwell too much on the success which they have achieved. Focus on the process of social certification that they have gone through. Okay? For example, ask yourself, does your hero comes from the society all right that um that exercise closed system or open system okay all right does your hero's uh, success have been influenced by a chief status or a scrap status Okay, does your hero, okay, um, focus more on um, class consciousness or false consciousness? So that is what you want, that you have to look into. Okay, all right, give an example. <clears throat> So just now we talked about Bill Gates, right? And then you have you have done some reading about Bill Gates. So from your reading, uh, we have learned that Bill Gates um, came from an upper middle class family. Okay, so I'm sure. Okay, his parents have educated Bill Gates to be class consciousness. All right. Okay. So, what is my evidence? So, at the moment, I cannot tell you per se what is my evidence. Okay. So, I have to do some reading. Okay. Okay. How about Steve Jobs? Okay. False consciousness or class consciousness? All right. Or later on, you if you read about social mobility, do you think he comes from um, a society? where it is easy for him to climb the social ladder or is it difficult for Steve Jobs to climb the social ladder 
what is the challenges that Steve Jobs have experienced, have faced in the past? Who face? Okay, who face? Um, who face um, more difficulties in climbing the social ladder? Is it Gates or Jobs? So these are the things that you have to look into when you research about your heroes. Okay, let me. Okay. Uh, Igmal Hazim talking about soccer field. Sure, you can. All right. Very good. Soccer. All right. Okay. Now, two uh, famous soccer player that has always been compared to one another. One is Maradona. Another one is uh, Pele. Look at this. Look at their background. Among the two, okay, is it uh, Maradona or Pele who have an easier climb? Uh, easier climb uh, of social ladder. Is it Pele or Maradona? Maradona. All right. What is your evidence? Okay. So talk, talk, uh, talk in terms of a scrap status, a chief status. Okay. A chief status, remember, is about someone who becomes successful based on his own merit. M-E-R-I-T. Merit. Kebolehan dan keupayaan. Okay. A scrap status is basically totally depending on the class that you are born into. Okay. Example. Um, let's say if you come from a royal family. Okay. And then you go to the best school. Okay. Um, and then you work in the best company because of your... Um, you know, of the, um, of your connection, right? So that is an example of a scrap status. Okay, all right. So you will have a better idea after you have gone through the um, uh, PowerPoint slides on social certification. Okay, any other question? Sure, sure. Yes, may I know who, hello, is, who is on the line? Hello. This is, this is Jade. Oh, Jade. Okay, hello, Jade. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. This is Jade. Yeah, go ahead, Jade. Regarding, regarding, regarding the social deviant video. Okay. Regarding the social deviant commentary video, right. I'm pretty lost, sir, but I already did a video about uh, coronavirus. About coronavirus? Of, uh, yeah, I did a social deviant video about oh. coronavirus. About coronavirus. And can okay. I, yeah, I already, I already did that video. Is that just uh like, should I did another video or can I use you that? must you must answer the question, uh, Jay. Okay. So choose three social deviant behavior. And then use the theories to explain why some people commit the social deviant behavior. Okay. For example, right, uh, why do you think some people purposely, you know, hoarding the sanitizer and the mask? Okay, now, okay. you can use Freud. Freud believed that some people, okay, commit social deviant because there is no immediate or dire consequences. So you can use that explanation. Okay. So since the law um, is not exist existing because we have never experienced such pandemic before, okay, that would uh, indirectly uh, encourage people to commit social deviant behavior, okay, such as hoarding the mask, hoarding the sanitizer. Okay, all right. Okay. So you need to <clears throat> use the theories. Okay, or perhaps you can use Merton. Okay, okay. how do you categorize okay. the act of hoarding 
mask and sanitizer? Is it constructive or is it destructive? Ah, okay? So what is your answer to that question? So I'm sure it is destructive. Destructive, destructive to whom? Destructive to the community. Community, yeah. Okay? All right. Okay, sir. Okay? Thank you, Jay. All right. Let's take a look at the chat. Okay, somebody say destructive. Okay, Ami ask, sir, does the commentary is a group work or individual work? It is individual, Ami. Individual, okay? All right, individual, all right? Okay. Okay, Alia Najwa, do they have to be in the same field? Yes, they do. They need to uh, be in the same field. Soccer field, I don't know whether this is a joke or not. Okay. Uh, Shed Hazik Hilmi said Steve Jobs. Shazwan asked, the Higo should be real people, right? Yes, Shazwan. No uh, fictional. Okay, must be real people. Okay. Cannot fiction Higo. Uh, yeah, that's right. I mean. Okay, Myra asked, should the video only be us talking or can I make a power tool like video? No power tool, I need to see you in the video. All right, Myra? Okay. Are you shy, Myra? Right. Should the video only... Okay, da, 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 done. Any other question? Can it be both? Hananya Can it be both? Constructive and destructive? Okay. Um... I'm very intrigued by that um, proposition, Anani. Okay, right, sure, try and uh, argue it out. Okay, right, perhaps it is constructive and destructive as well. All right, so, so you decide. Okay, so argue it out. Okay, so sociology, guys, like uh, any other field in humanities, they are very subjective. Okay. So we are not, most of the time, we are not dealing with um, a particular truth that cannot be changed, okay, like in uh, natural science. But most of the time, it depends on how we argue, okay. So all these theories, we use all these theories in order to guide our argument and in our thinking, okay. All right. Okay, any other question? Sir, I yes? have a question. Okay, uh, that sounds like Balkis, right? Yes. Okay, <laughs> right. okay. One second, Balkis. I'm going to put you in the... Okay. 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 We go into all the names. Okay, here we go. All right, okay. Okay, okay. sir. So, uh, right. If I would like to do about about the politician. Okay, sure. This is about. Uh, can I choose mm -hmm. uh, basically for the social stratification commentary video? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm can listening. I choose uh, the, uh, can I choose the politician from a different country? That means they have been compared by uh -huh. uh, two of them from different country. Okay. Is it possible sure, for sure. me to do it? But both of them are politicians, right? Okay, yeah, sure. You can do that. Yeah. As, as long as they, they, they are in the same field. Yeah, sure. You can do that. No problem. Okay? Okay, thank you. All right, sir. thank you. Now I know, um, you know, majority of you, um, basically, you are overthink overthinker, right? Okay, there are some of you here that I can see. Okay, there are, you are overthinker, right? Okay, so it's only three to five minutes, yeah. Okay, or if you wanna speak a little bit uh, more, you can, no problem. Okay, but try not to be too uh, complicated. All right, um, just uh, choose someone that you really admire 
And uh, all you need to do is just to do a little bit of research about his or her background. Okay? All right. Okay, let's take a look at the chat. Somebody asked a particular question. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, Sharifah. Excuse me. Sir, if those two haven't been compared by others, could I still do about them? Okay. Those two refer to the heroes. Who are the others, uh, Sharifa? Others as in your friends? Okay, sure, sure, you can. Yeah, as long they are they, they come from the same field. Okay, for example, like um, I don't know, uh, if you like physics, anyone like physics? Okay, so uh, we have Einstein. Okay, and then we have Isaac Newton. Same category, right? Okay, uh, music. Okay, classical music. Mozart, Beethoven, right? Actors. Uh, Robert De Niro, uh, Al Pacino, right? These two, um, you know, we always compare them uh, to each other. Okay, all right. So it depends on your interests. What do you like? Uh, if you like, um, for example, a uh, particular actors and actress that I have never heard about, okay, you can also, you know, talk about them. No problem at all. No judgment here. No judgment here. Okay? Alright. So, let's take a look at the chat. Nobody like physics. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Nurul Fatin said. I love physics, as Mina said. Okay. Okay, Shakira asked, Sir, we need to do three topic for four video. Okay, one second. I lost. Okay. Okay, not Ain Shakira. Sir, we need to do three topic for four video, right? One video for one topic. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So I have introduced. I have uh, sorry, introduced. Black. I have uh, show you two um two questions. There is another two more to come. Okay. Right? Okay. All right. No, no. Farahin Rahiman ask, sir. May May I ask the field of the heroes is not focused on serious field, right? Yeah, that's right. It can be entertainment. Farahin, no problem. It can be about entertainment and beauty. Yeah, sure. Yes, sure. Go ahead. Entertainment and beauty. Perhaps I will learn something from you. Okay. All right. Even idol, uh, idol singers, cancer, yes. Sure, Mariam, you can. All right? Uh, somebody like biology. Okay? All right. Mina perform as always, according to Myra. Mina for flatters. All right. <laughs> so, okay. And then Shakira asked, so what we are going to do for the one left video, sir? For the one left video, uh, yeah, I'll tell you next week. Can I compare a contemporary figure with the historical one? Yes, you can, Hanani. Or would it be better? Okay, so you can do that. Okay, one from historical, one from contemporary. No problem. Okay, all right. Okay, any other question? No, I Shakira say thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so it seems that our um, lockdown has been uh, has been uh, you know extended, right? To fourteen of April. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. yes. So. I hope you will use the time to complete your assignment. Okay, so I haven't heard yes, anything. I haven't. I haven't heard anything from the management um, about when are we supposed to come back, or is this semester is going to be extended? I have not received any news, official news uh, from the college. So once I have learned anything, I will let you know. Okay. Alright, there's some um, other 
question. Okay, we need to go back to college on 15th of April. Is that true? Samiza? Uh, Shazwan said, makin banyak habuk gira ni. Okay, do your assignment. Okay, don't just... Yes, sir, I have yes. checked on the Instagram just now. It okay. said that we have to go back on 15 of April. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back on the 15th of April then. Right? Okay. Uh, did they tell whether this particular assignment will, uh, assignment, uh, semester will be extended, uh, Samiza? No, I don't sure. think so. Okay. Not sure, sir. No, not sure. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Afnizam, 16 April class starts. Uh, perhaps. Yeah. No, no, perhaps. It, it is uh, already official, right? Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay, I'll ask later, all right? So we have to go back to the college on the 15th. Class will start the next day or on the 15th. I'm not really sure. I will let you know, okay? So, sir, when's the due date for this video? Are you referring to the second one? Okay, it's on... Okay, it's on Friday. Okay. All right. Okay, let let uh, me, uh, let let us, um, you know, let me just extend. Um, so supposedly, um, on the third, I'm talking about the second video, yeah. The the third, um, but I'm going to give you an extra time um, on the sixth. First video on the thirtieth. Okay. Okay lah, thirty first, thirty first. First video on the 31st, okay, 31st. Second video on the 6th of April, okay? All right, first is on 31st, once again. First video uh, on the 31st, second video on the 6th. So please share the video in the channel. How about the fact-checking interview? Fact-checking interview, the due date is on Sunday, okay, before midnight. So I'm going to create a channel, a channel uh, for fact-checking the view. So you can just share your um, link in that particular channel. Okay. So to submit the fact-checking interview, all you need to do it, all you need to do is to tag your name and your friend's name, and please type your respective IDs. ID, yeah. Okay, so tag your name, ID, and then tag your friend's name, ID, and then indicate which class uh, are you from. Are you from Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, okay, Foxtrot, or Golf? And that's all you need to do, yeah? Okay. So don't forget, yeah, make sure that your um, links... Um, of the YouTube video and also uh, for the analysis, uh, Microsoft Word document works. So please place or put the link to the um, analysis um, file or uh, in your video description. Any problem with the video description, please PM me. I can uh, give you uh, a personal um, uh, tutor, tutoring. Okay, all right. All right, so the time is 4.38. Thank you very much for spending uh, your time with me. Um, I hope to see you next week. All right, uh, next week um, I will release um, the third um, question for your commentary video. Okay, so take care of yourself um, and uh, my, my best regards to your uh, parents and into your family and I'll see you next week. Okay? Alright. Bye-bye. Thank, right. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank
you you like to show me your question? Alright, one second. Um, so can I go next? Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, waiting for Nizam to appear. Ah, uh, here he is. Hello, Nizam. Nizam, hello. I can hear you, Nizam. Yeah. 